This part of the product is very unartfully staged. Now, I got my first guitar, which is actually in the closet over there, uh, for my 13th birthday. Well, I'm part of the, you know, the Beatles generation, and everybody had to have a guitar. Not everybody, not everybody got one necessarily, but you know, some people just insisted more strenuously than others, and then it was decided that, well, if I was going to be a guitar player, I would be a classical guitar player. Along with my first classical guitar uh, came uh, classical lessons and uh, many uh, um, chances to see Andrew Segovia and Julian Bream when they were in town. <laughs> At the age of 17, after about four years of study, I ceased with the formal training and began doing um, a bit of a freelance, and that's about the time that I heard a number of people that uh, sort of shot me into the career that has always eluded me. People such as... Oh, uh, John Fahey and Derek Bailey. radio show on WKCR up in Columbia where that was my introduction into New York was being accepted to Columbia uh, where I lasted for just under three semesters but nonetheless um, <coughs> apparently old Ivy ties die hard as I found out uh, usually much to my pleasure well anyway I managed to uh, have arranged to have a radio show on WKCR uh, in the late 70s, after I dropped out, which was sort of, you know, you know, under the table, but nonetheless, it was a very successful show. I had Derek Bailey on four times, and that's how I met Harry Smith, having him on. It was a good, it was a good forum. It was a very, very, very good forum. And Jim Sutter called me up one day to, uh, one January day, to talk about how uh, great he thought the show was and how much he uh, dog hearing a lot of people like Peter Brosman and Evan Parker on my show and there was nothing else like this around and at the time there wasn't. I introduced himself and said that he and an, uh, an old buddy had uh, been playing saxophone for a long time and uh, thought that I might be interested in uh, playing their tapes and I said, oh well, you know, I'm a guitar player and uh, uh, that was basically how it all started. We got together and, uh, eh, you, know, you know, when you play with certain people you know that there's something magical going on. I guess my motivation was, uh, it just seemed like the natural thing to do. Uh, was it to be cool? Uh, maybe, but... Uh, Did you originally... We were surrounded by music, my sister and I. I my father was, was you know, crazy about music. Um, so we had it all around us, constantly. And uh, A musical mortician. 
Mm, he's not a mortician, he's a pathologist. There is a big difference. This is Dad's book. Ooh. Forensic chapter is a hoot. Cool photos. Entrance and exit wounds. <laughs>